Many mortal races would have you believe that they single-handedly hold back the endless tide of chaos, but when it comes to Kislev that might actually be the case. Kislev is the most northerly civilized nation in the old world and the bulwark against the dark forces which occupy the northern wastes. Without them, chaos-worshipping tribes and countless monstrosities would have free passage into the empire. In that respect, Kislev is like the bouncer manning the door to civilization. But instead of just turning away lads in trainers, they violently repel the forces that seek to destroy us. Because of this, Kislevites are stern, unflinching people. They brook no dissent or subterfuge. Its Tsars and Tsarinas rule with icy, totalitarian will because they have to. One loose brick and the Kislevite wall that protects humanity will come crumbling down. Every member of society, from lowly farmers to bear-riding boyars, is ready to take up arms against the ruinous powers. On the battlefield, Kislev feels like a versatile army built to withstand dark forces. They boast elite cavalry units, resolute infantry and enough bears to populate an endless number of violent picnics. Cossars are the foundation of Kislev's army, grizzled fighters, most of whom are the same foresters and trappers who supply the nation's great cities. Their traditional weapons, the bow and the axe, symbolize the hunter and the woodsman respectively. They're lightly armored, cheap to recruit and, like all Kislevites, hold their nerve in all but the most dire circumstances. Kislev's versatility is reflected in its hybrid units. Streltsy come equipped with rifles that develop as great axes, capable of finishing off any units who actually reach them, reminding us there's something lovely about a gun that's dangerous at both ends. And Ice Maidens are the elite warriors of the Ice Court, who can slow opponents with magic-imbued bows and even specialise to take on monstrous units. Parts of Kislev are known as the Oblast, a bleak wilderness where a sturdy steed is literally the difference between life and death. And that's perhaps why Kislev is famous for its mounted units. Winged Lancers and the Griffin Legion are the sort of horsemen that would even give a Bretonian self-esteem issues. And Warbear Riders can back up their fearsome charge with increased longevity in the melee because they're literally riding bears. However good your barded warhorse is, it can't do this. Kislev isn't known for its artillery and, in fact, Kislevite nobles were expressly forbidden from maintaining cannon in the past. During the reign of Tsar Alexis, a dozen new guns were commissioned, but over time, most have been lost. The few that remain do pack an impressive punch, though, and, as you might expect, they also come equipped with bears, enough to discourage all but the most dedicated skirmishers. And if that's not enough bears, and it's not because there's no such thing, the army is also capable of fielding elemental bears, colossal magical creatures that represent nature at its most brutal and unrelenting, able to smash down enemy gates and even hold their own against the greater demons of chaos. It's an army that embodies Kislev's grim, unyielding refusal to crumble in the face of isolation, atrocious climate and the worst next-door neighbours the Warhammer world has to offer. If you want an army that doesn't just laugh at hardship so much as charge directly at it on the back of a thousand pound apex predator, then Kislev has a saddle bear with your name on it.